Hey guys, what's up? It's Mike. Um, I'm probably going to have to redo this video, which is okay because it's going to give me kind of like a basis on how I'm going to proceed further into the video. But if not, you're not going to understand it, and this is going to be completely irrelevant what I just said. But that's only saying being said because my fiance might give me a call if she gets to work. Anyways, back to the video. Um, Today we're going to talk about a few different medications for ADHD. We're going to start with the one that's prescribed, kind of off-label, kind of to state a way of prescribing the more potent drugs such as, um, I don't even want to say Ritalin because it's not that potent. <laughs> Excuse my uh, terminology, but, uh, um, and then the Vyvanse and the Adderall and so on and so forth, uh, the Exedrine, all those types of drugs. But today we're going to focus on four, Stratera, Concerta, or Witten Ritalin. Um, the Vyvanse and the Adderall. Shatira, um, is very, I'm going to be brief with this medication. It, um, it's an awful, it's a, it's an SSRI, I believe, or SNRI. I don't want to, I don't want to say for sure, but I'm going to kind of pretend I didn't say that. <clears throat> In any case, it's prescribed off-label for stimulating properties and that therefore has had some success in ADHD patients. Um, from even personally, no success, um. It's not, it's not a medication that it's, it's kind of, like I said, it's off label, just like to prescribe, uh, gabapentin, which is, or neuron, which is for nerve pain, nerve damage, so on, for anxiety, because it kind of calms you down, just like they're prescribing the Stratera for, um, ADHD, when in reality, it's an antidepressant, and so on, and it's just not being prescribed for one thing, it's being prescribed for this, that, and that, and it's okay, it kind of helps the ADHD symptoms, so that was completely detail lacking, but, Shatira, putting that aside, we'll go to the three main ones, which comes in the Concerta, like the Ritalin. So say Ritalin. Then we'll go to Vyvanse. Or I'm sorry, then we'll go to Adderall, and then we'll go to the Vyvanse. So you may or may not hear some music in the background. I just put on um, Adderall by Trap Nation. <laughs> um, to kind of get this video going to where it needs to be getting, you feel me? Anyways... Now we're on Ritalin. So Ritalin's, uh, it's it's in the drug class. Um, well, it's cons it's called methamphetamine. It's um, sort of like uh, it mimics amphetamines, but it's not quite amphetamine. So we're starting to go from this to this to potent. And we're right about here right now, as far as between how how vast ADHD medications will range, as far as effectiveness based on potency and the type of drug. <laughs> oh. Anyways, um, so I've been on Ritalin back when I was in like elementary school, entering middle school. It was one of those first stimulant medications I was put on from ADHD to really combat the debilitating aspects of the ADHD that I face. It did its job. I lost my appetite, side effect, I, I, I was stimulated, but I was ultimately not stimulated as far as stimulation that's going to counteract my ADHD symptoms for the whole day. I wasn't, I wasn't feeling it for the whole day. So they would give me, you know, afternoon doses as the same type of concert or riddle and whatever may have you. Um, moving on, I was prescribed, going into high school, prescribed something a little bit stronger. I was prescribed um, Adderall before the Vyvanse, actually. And the Adderall, um, it was a lot stronger for me personally. It like, made me lose my appetite a whole lot more. But the positives, it was a, it was a very boom on Adderall, but at the same time, I'm on Adderall, and I'm doing what I need to do, and then proceeding to the next thing, to the next thing, systematically in sequence. Um, I wanted to elaborate on the medications themselves, but just briefly letting you know that Adderall is an amphetamine, so it's a relative of methamphetamine, it's stronger cousin. Five ants is um, what we're going to be talking about now. Um, like I said, I wasn't planning on not elaborating to the degree that I am at this point, but um, this is what, what it is. Five ants. Vyvanse saved me. My ADHD is stage worst as I guess. Let's say it's, 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 it's at its worst. When I was switched to Vyvanse, I noticed a lot more of a smooth come up on the medication. Ultimately, the medication's released over an hour and a half. I'd even go as far as saying two and a half hours, three hours before it's at its peak, even three to four hours. And then it's just gradual throughout the rest of the day, lasting between my personal experience. I've had days where I felt like the effectiveness for 10 to 11 hours, some days 11 to 15 hours. It, it, they say between like 12 to 14 hours for the Vyvanse. Um, Vyvanse is just, it, it's as if it's the amphetamine or the, the amphetamine derivative for ADHD medication and frontline defense. Um, 
of the future, but we're living it. This is it. And I'm going to go with Vivans. And that's what I'm on right now. Matter of fact, one second. <laughs> so, here's it. Oh, I got these. So these are my Vivans. I take, I don't even see my name, but Vivans. 60 milligrams for so the max dosage is uh, 70. I'm sorry I didn't give the dosages. It was a very spur of the moment video. I didn't give the dosages for the other medications. Maybe in the next video I'm still going to post this video as is because I think it's very beneficial for what it's come up to be. But I take these and these five ants, they're so long acting and so potent. I've gone as far as breaking them in half if I, if I needed just a, I didn't need quite the amount of duration. It's still going to last 10 to 14 hours or whatever if I take a little if I open this and empty half the powder into an applesauce, eat it, or in a drink, or take it. Whatever way I ingest it has to be processed orally and metabolized. That's how lysodexamphetamine works. And get. And, and as far as getting you to be stable on medication, it's good to know that that's why the Vivan seems to have that smooth on scent. It's because it's a pro drug. You cannot get high off of it as far as snorting it, shooting it, whatever. You have to swallow it. And it doesn't mean you can't take excuse my French, a crap ton of it, but you are going to have to have that understanding that it is a pro drug, which is another reason why I favor Vyvanse, and I'm going to be taking this until my ADHD symptoms completely come to con con to um, a controlled state with just talk therapy, whatever the case may be. My fiance is calling me right now, so this video had an awkward end, but I love my girl, so I'm going to answer that call, and God bless y'all, and best happy freaking trails to y'all. Peace.